Now, I was under the impression <clears throat> that these were illegal. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, well. Going all around, spying on people with a recreational vehicle just because he's looking for a meth lab? He should know better as a law enforcement agent. For that, I will charge him with trespassing. Like the video and subscribe now or else don't dare. Me. According to the United States Code Section 2432902, a recreational vehicle with four wheels is considered a domicile and is protected by the Fourth Amendment against unlawful search and seizure. His attempt to break into the RV without a warrant will result in charges of trespassing and unlawful search. Oh, all right, you can call my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Talk to my lawyer, all right? And you hear me? I got nothing to say. I told you, you can call my- <laughs> Hank gave Jesse Pinkman a severe beating that landed him in the hospital with serious injuries. Therefore, I will charge him with aggravated assault and he will also be responsible for the medical expenses incurred in treating Jesse. The Salamanca twins are responsible for the death of Tortuga, which will result in a charge of first-degree murder. Additionally, their act of rigging a bomb to Tortuga's head resulted in the death of three DEA agents and one agent seriously injured. They will face three additional counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. <laughs> These twin brothers are cold-blooded serial killers who also murdered approximately nine other people who were being trafficked with them into New Mexico. The driver makes it a total of ten victims. This heinous crime appears to be premeditated, so they will be charged with ten counts of first-degree murder and arson. These guys are the most notorious movie serial killer ever. They don't even talk at all. Hands! Hands! All right, down! On your knees! You understand me? Examining this crime scene, it is clear that this was a premeditated attack on Hank, which would have earned the twin brothers another first-degree murder charge if successful. Therefore, I will charge them with attempted first-degree murder. Yes, it's Skylar White. In states, whenever the disposal of solid waste or hazardous waste presents an imminent or substantial endangerment, the offender may be fined not more than 5,000. Analyzing this crime scene, Skylar White committed not one, but two crimes. First, she hired Patrick Kuby to pretend to be a law enforcement agent. Pretending to be a federal agent is a federal crime in the United States, punishable under 18 U.S.C. Section 912. Second, she used Patrick Kuby to falsely threaten Bogdan into shutting down his car wash, forcing him to sell it to her at a price below market value. Skylar White will be charged with fraud and impersonation of a law enforcement agent. That's not the point. I mean, there is no car wash in the world that could do this kind of business. I mean, this is nine months. Which case is going to suck. So... Skylar White committed at least two crimes in another crime scene. First, she hired Huel Babineau and Patrick Kuby to coerce Ted Beneke into writing a check. Then, she forced him to stay behind while they deposited the money. Second, when Ted attempted to escape, he fell and suffered a spinal cord injury. Skylar will be charged with coercion, assault, and will also be required to pay a significant fine to cover Ted's expenses. For three months, he kept them. My wife had no idea of my criminal activities 
was... Skylar White will also be charged for her role in assisting Walter White in framing Hank as the mastermind behind the Blue Meth Empire.